Hi, my name is Trey Doom, support engineer here at E1 Solutions. Today I'll be teaching you how to send conditional email messages in Smart Connect. I have a pretty simple uh, integration here that just has a couple of lines with a couple of names here that we'll be using for an example. Otherwise, just sending it to a file, but none of that matters. What we're here for is basically sending the email task. And to do this, we're going to have some document task logic that we're going to be setting global variables, checking global variables on uh, if they meet conditions so that we can put them into the final email that we send out. So for the first one we want to do here, we'll do task that runs if the document succeeds. And in this run script, I just called it logic. I'm basically just checking if the name is equal to Ashley. I want to update my global variable to equal my global variable plus uh, this custom message that you can set to whatever you like. The only reason I have this global variable equal the global variable is that it will retain it will it'll retain what was in the global variable before I'm adding this message onto it. So if we have like these two names, uh, the Ashley one comes up first, it'll print off this message with only this message. But then once the Chris one gets here, it'll have the Ashley message plus the Chris message added onto it. So that is just like a simple example of how you can set this up. You don't obviously have to have the global variable equal the global variable. If you just want to have one statement added on as a condition, you can do that very simply. So you can do this. And then I have a second one here that basically just shows uh, the global variable as I'm running the map. Just for example purposes, you don't need to add that to yours. But then in the final email task, basically I have a standard message here and then my conditional information, I'm just using that global variable that we set up earlier. And you can do that by just grabbing it from in here. You can see it's right here, the one I'm using. All right, so once you have all that set up, you can have your conditional information, whatever you wanna write in there. Uh, you do wanna make sure that global variable is empty before you start using it. So uh, integration pre-task is great for this, task that runs before the integration. You can just make sure this global variable is set to an empty string by doing this and then returning true. Great little solution right there. And otherwise, I can uh, show you one, show you how this works. I run the integration. You can see that global variable is getting updated to my name is Ashley because it found the first name is Ashley. Then it found the second one. My name is Chris. So it added my name is Ashley. My name is Chris onto it. And then we will see this for the rest of them since none of the other names match. And then you can see that is a conditional message here that is added through global variables and that you can send through Smart Connect. If you enjoyed this topic and this video, please let us know. Otherwise, have a great day.